What's up, you guys? It's Matt here. So it looks like Shiba Inu had a little bit of a recovery today, right? After seeing what went on with Shiba Inu today and the past couple of days, people were skeptical. There's a lot of people that reached out to me and said, look, I'm done with Shiba Inu. It's dropping way too much. It's gained another zero and I just can't handle it, right? So I posted something on uh, Twitter. I think it was sometime today. Yeah, it was earlier today. Um, that you know Shiba Inu is at a low price basically coming out and, and talking about the price talking about how much you can get um and uh, I had some comments where people were like hey you know what are you doing we shouldn't talk about Shib we should talk about Lunik here um it's not all about one position obviously we want to focus on things that will get us to that millionaire status or that wealthy status or gain us a lot of money in the end. But Shiba Inu may be that player as well. Right now, we're still seeing a bearish market. So it's not all about just Lunik or all about um, whatever other position that you just want to focus on. You need multiple investments. You need to diversify. And you can't just physically take all of your investments and go all in on one position. That's not diversifying. That's not what I preach. And that's not what I will ever preach. So guys hit the like button hit the subscribe button we're going to be talking about shiba inu in this video also make sure you guys check out some of the links down below sorry my voice almost went out and if you guys want to follow me on twitter make sure you follow me on twitter at perry ak you can follow me over there don't forget about my uh patreon guys we have a patreon where we have buy alerts um, we have sell alerts whenever that does come about we have some educational content we also have early access to the nfa videos if you guys like the not financial advice videos where we go over different cryptocurrencies different investments all that stuff will include stock investments and you know etf investments and all that other type of stuff on that channel when we do get a little bit of time to break down a little bit more but we'll probably do more than one video a day over there um doing one for stock one for crypto uh, so that we can really diversify um, the the viewers and you know the subscribers and all of that stuff and you know just the videos in general so anyways like I said hit the like button hit the subscribe button but let's check out Shiba Inu right now so Shiba Inu is currently um, sorry about that is currently at 0 0.00001047 you can see here if you look right below that price you're going to see a low price whereas at 0 0.00000985 so it lost a zero and basically it was nine dollars and 38 cents to buy one million coins which is huge right because shiba inu could be that player to where if we see enough burns if we see enough activity if we see enough volume if we see enough hype we can see this absolutely run to a way higher level via the market cap and by whatever this price could be based on the the supply decrease so we know that this could be way more valuable than where it is right now so um, at the current moment, if your cost basis is right here or even lower, um, you're gaining so much out of it or you have the potential to gain so much out of it. Low risk, high reward. That's what we look for in an investment there, whether you're looking to sell all of it or half of it. Now, I still have um, 300 million coins that are sitting in my, um, my crypto.com account. And uh, I'm waiting for that to absolutely grow, absolutely blow up. Um, but it's not something that I'm holding my breath on, right? It might take four years, it might take five years, it might take 10 years, but the point is is that they could build utility throughout that whole entire time, and who knows if I'll be around, but if I'm not, I'll make sure everybody knows um, what's going on with Shiba Inu and make sure my family knows what to do with it and to let it sit in there until it's worth, you know, Bitcoin-like levels, Bitcoin-like prices. I'm just playing. It's not going to be worth that much. But, you know, being worth uh, a level of, you know, even a fraction of a penny, 10% of a penny, 20% of a penny would be huge. A penny would be huge. Um, but right now we're sitting on where we are. Uh, we did see it a little bit lower, which creates a buying opportunity for a lot of people. And you could have easily gained 10% um, from this, going from uh, 0 .000, uh, 000 9385 all the way up to the high of 1071. You could have basically gained that 10%, 9% um, in returns if you wanted to buy today. Um, and this is something that I've been telling people to focus on a little bit um, as of late. Understand where the low prices are, buy in low, sell high, do what you can do um, with a short term um, 
uh, payout. So let's say if you have, um, I don't know, $1,000, right? $1,000 that you want to make a quick move with. You have your initial Shiba Inu that you want to hold for the long term. Continue to hold that. But how about you make a quick investment and maybe you can make some money 10%. You can make 20%. You can turn uh, $1,000 into a uh, um, $1,100. That wouldn't be bad. Um, so Shiba Inu today uh, gained a zero. Uh, gain people some opportunity. You can see the volume increase today. Volume today was at 218% uh, increase. So you're seeing this at 417 million, which is great to see because previously sitting at 200 or 100 uh, million dollars in volume is does not look like Shiba Inu at all. We've seen this hover around 700 million, around 1 billion for multiple days, and the fact that we're are, we are seeing this at a lower point, lower than 500 million, lower than 200, lower than um, you know 300 million. Um, Obviously, that's not what Shiba Inu used to be and what it's not today. It shouldn't be what it is today. Um, but currently, the market cap is at $5.7 billion. We've seen this, again, at a high. If we look at the market cap, we've seen this at a high of about $40 billion at one point, and that was before they added on that extra supply. But even if they still add on that extra supply, you're still seeing the potential to, that it can get back to some of these higher prices of $0.00008. Um, obviously, we want to see more supply that's burned off in the range of trillions, not in the range of billions. Um, we want to see more and more that's going to be burned off. So more utility, uh, I'm pretty sure is coming. We have a bunch of different a bunch of different players in the game when it comes to community members that are looking to burn community members that are looking to create newer things like you know nfts and gaming and and all that stuff we want to see how this shib eternity uh thing is going to go and if it goes well then um we're able to burn a decent amount i don't know how much revenue they have made uh, i don't know how many downloaders there are but we definitely need to check all of that stuff out and give you guys the information as to how much we expect them to burn. But even if you do see just uh, downloads, it doesn't mean that people didn't spend money on in-app purchases, which are definitely a big uh, selling point. I've known some people that have already made some in-app purchases because they want better decks on um, for their cards um, and just be better at the game. I've played like six matches on Ship Eternity. It's fun. Um, I didn't spend any money. Um, but I don't know if they make money off of the regular users as well because I don't really see any ads. So anyways, guys, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. That was just an update on Shiba Inu to tell you that things have dropped down, but you're seeing an increase in volume. You're seeing 216%, 218% in volume, um, an increase in volume. And then you also see the fact that the overall price is moving in our favor, you know, 3% up but it's nothing compared to what we expect for the long term. So guys, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell for more videos like this one. I'm gonna get out of here and I'll catch you guys in the next video.